Hi, John Valvano here. In this video, I want to demonstrate one of the components of Lab 2. There are lots of objectives of Lab 2, debugging, real-time analysis, uh, but in this demo here, I want to illustrate the central limit theorem. First, I have an analog input that goes into the A to D converter, and I'm measuring that A to D thousand times and creating a probability mass function. Okay, so on the y-axis is the number of occurrences, and on the x-axis is the a to d value. And you can see that the probability mass function of this a to d has multiple peaks. And this illustrates that the analog input has this type of, of noise distribution. And as you know, there is a, a SAC, a, a averaging register, in the processor in this case we're averaging two points and the peaks are are smoothed together four points okay so now we're averaging four points taking a thousand measurements eight points and as you can see as the as I average more and more points uh, the distribution becomes more Gaussian 16 32 and one more 64. So this is a built-in hardware averager, and the consequence is the distribution of the probability mass function becomes more Gaussian, and as you can also see, the standard deviation gets smaller. So there is a register in the ADD converter which will perform averaging. In this case, we're averaging 64 points for every measurement. So in summary, the central limit theorem says as I take a noisy process and I average the data, the result is a Gaussian distribution.